Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, Thomas here from the Point Bassmasters. Um, <clears throat> right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my 2019 ice fishing setup. And if you don't know this already, this is my my first year actually getting into it. I've only went one time before, before this year really. Um, and I finally decided I want to get into it because I've always gone fishing in the other times of the year, and I've just never, never ever gone during this the winter. I mean, I go when it's like not icy, or I used to go when it, when it like when the ponds weren't frozen. But yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, so, so far I have two setups and I have like an extra rod. So this first setup right here is just a 13 fishing. Um, I don't know what it's called actually. It probably says it on here somewhere. It says H HCG. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty nice combo. Um, Water from Bass Pro for about 40 bucks. Uh, Right now I have four pond lines split up on it with, and right now I just have a little Swedish pimple on there. I haven't caught anything on it yet. I really want to because they're good for bass and I really want to catch a bass through the ice. So this is my first setup. Uh, it'll run you about $40 and if you want guys, I'm going to link all this in the description below. Um, yeah, first setup. Alright guys, this is the second setup I have. Um, so, backstory. So, last Friday I went to Bass Pro. And I was just gonna cash out. I, was, I took 400 bucks to me, and I intended on spending, spending it all, but they were like literally sold out of everything. So I ended up buying an Abu Garcia combo. But looking at it further, it's really the rod is really stiff. And I, there's a local bait store and tackle store in Maumee, Ohio. It's called Mommy Bait and Tackle. Great place, great guys. So I went in there. I don't know what I was gonna buy. I think I was buying line because. Bass Pro didn't even have ice line. So, and I saw this, this rod, and this rod, I'm telling you, is like magical. This is a St. Croix Mojo Ice rod. Okay, this thing is just, hold on, I'll show you real quick, because this thing is just very, very like, like this just little, little pressure. Like, this, and right now I have a jig on it. Um, this rod was about 60 bucks, I think. And I mean, it was worth it. This rod is very, very nice. Um, I haven't had a rod like this. I mean, this is a really, really, really nice rod. Um, just getting into ice fishing, this feels like I might just stick with St. Croix. Uh, and the reel I have paired with it is just the Abu Garcia uh, reel I have with it, which I intend on getting a different or different reels. Is just it for now. Um, and I also have four pound line on this with a little tungsten jig little gold tungsten jig um, so there is my two setups so um, probably an, a really necessity for ice fishing is a tip up and there, let me explain why so my theory on that is because without a tip up you can't cover as much water as you could without a tip up if you know what I'm saying so I I went ahead and I picked up two Frabble tip ups for Bill. Frabble, I don't know how you say it. Two of these tip ups that you just you put right over the hole after you after you uh, after you drill your hole, put it right over it. Um, I haven't used it yet because I only I just got it. So right now what I have on it, I don't know if this is correct, but I have 20 pound braid on it, and I do plan on getting like a monofilament leader, um, and then putting just a hook and, sink, uh, and some split shots on it from what I've read up because I have never really used these. Again, this is only my first year getting into it. Uh, I've never used it before. So these are really going to be a must to have. And I'm suggesting you guys get these. Uh, I'll link these in the description below too. All right, so what I also have, and okay, this is just a necessity because you can't really freaking drill a hole without these. Uh, I think this is a four inch or a six inch auger. I can't remember. I don't have the box anymore, but I do not remember what size it is, but it, it's worked really great so far. Um, I didn't get a gas powered one yet just because uh, just because it's not since I'm just now getting into it it's not really a necessity and you can just you can just use these um, I bought this from Bass Pro for about 50 bucks I think uh, if I remember correctly about 50 bucks all right so this is just the baits that I mainly I've mainly used so far for this year um so I got these little tungsten jigs I have a bunch of these gold ones I've got I mean not a bunch but like four or five I got quite a bit of these little gold tungsten jigs. I believe this is a 1 in 32 ounce tungsten jig from Bass Pro. 
about five dollars no i actually don't know how expensive those were but i also have two three in total three or four swedish pimples um i'm mainly going to be using these for bass or try to at least because that is my main my main goal this this winter is just to catch a, a bass through the ice that's it that's the one thing i want to do but on this one as you can see i just have i switched it to a regular hook and you might ask why but i honestly don't know I, in my mind i was thinking why waste or why put on three um three wax worms or or spikes when you can just put on one so i'm gonna test both of these out with just the one hook and then with the treble see how that goes and i also got these jigs i believe this is a one in 16 house jig it's pretty big it's for your bigger pan fish you know i mean you can get these are just very versatile baits in general um these tungsten jigs um, from my research, I've seen a bunch of people just catch bass and literally crappie, bluegill, any panfish. Um, and smallmouth, you can catch smallmouth on these little bluegill jigs. Um, that's really it, I have to say, for my setup. I mean, it's not the best setup so far, but this is, again, this is my first year getting into it. Um, let me know if there's anything I need to get. Um, I do have bibs, I do have nice coats, I do have all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's about all, all that. Oh, and I also I also bought this this rod holder um, because, mainly because when I'm fishing a pond or a lake, I want to set out a minnow rod because I don't have that many poles, so I want to set up a minnow rod. Um, see if I can catch a bass because I'm I'm going all out this year. I'm trying to catch a bass to the ice. If I do, my um, my winter will be made. That's literally the only fish I want to catch. Um, so yeah, there's this. So yeah, guys, that's really my setup for this year. Um, I do want to give a special, special shout out to my boy Caleb. Um, I'm going to link his channel in the description. Please go give him a subscribe. He's been shouting us out three times out of three of his videos. It's just been awesome. Um, he's showing a lot of love and a lot of support to our channel. Um, yes, link is going to be down in the description. Caleb is a great dude that... I used to go to high school with him. Uh, me and Jimmy both went to high school with him. Um, me and Caleb have been friends since like, I don't know, probably middle school, probably even before middle school. We've been, we've been great friends. Um, so he's, he's his channel is about vlogging. Uh, he goes to college right now in Capital University, which is down in Columbus. Um, like a, I think it's like a Columbus suburb, honestly, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just please go show his channel some support. I'm going to be shouting him out a bunch of times in future videos, so just, if you're not going to subscribe to him right now, then you're going to get links in every video. So with that being said, guys, please, please, please go show Caleb some, some support. Um, he's a really great guy. Uh, you guys will love his videos. I've loved his videos. And he also loves sneakers. So he's made a video of his top 15 sneakers, top 10, top 10 sneakers he has in his collection. Me and Caleb used to love, uh, we love shoes. Um, and for and one, uh, also one cool thing about me is um, I'm really big into shoes too. Not so much lately, but me and Caleb, we mainly got really close be just because of shoes. And this is one of the shoes I picked up recently. This is a Yeezy 350 Boost Cream. Uh, I bought these for about 240 bucks, I think. I've only worn them twice. Uh, they're very clean. Um, I got these. I got a pair of NMDs that are really nice. Uh, I'm going off topic. But yeah, go subscribe to this channel. Links in the description below. And also... If there's any videos that you want to see, comment in the comment section below. Me and Jimmy are trying to bang out some videos, but we are both really busy. I work from freaking five to three every day, eight, 10 hour days. Um, I have school on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5.45 to 8.35. Jimmy has classes on Mondays and Wednesdays. So when I'm not doing anything after work, he's at class basically. So the only time we can record um, a fishing video is on the weekend and that's if we have ice or if it's nice out. So if there's any other videos you guys want to see, just please comment in this comment. So if there's any videos that you guys want to see, just please comment in the comment section below and we'll definitely do it for you. Also, Instagram is going to be linked below to our channel for Instagram. Um, I just made a post saying to comment, and you guys can do it on this video too, comment some questions that you want to see from me and Jimmy. We're definitely going to be answering those questions. I have a couple already, but I didn't want to make a video with two questions. Um, so yes. That's my 2019 ice fishing setup. Go subscribe to Caleb's channel and have a good day.